know, I'm glad he competed in the um, in a couple of Arnolds in the the Open, and you know, just to go and show how he stands up against some of the bigger guys. Um, but it's uh, the, the one thing I like about what he does is all of the competitors, their friends, they compete against each other, but yet they can put their arms around each other and congratulate them in a victory or console them in a loss. As you know my son and as you know things that he's said in the past, it's always hard work to get where you want to be and you have to have the heart to do that. And we always felt that way about him, that the heart was always there. Um, he might not have always gotten the chance the first or the second time around, but eventually he'll get his time. You know, I've met a lot of people uh, through the journey with Guy. Um, very very excited about it, very pleased, proud of him, uh, of his accomplishments, and um, I'm amazed, I'm amazed by his following. And I think that his, his philosophy that he brings to others and his dedication of a sport, his determination, is has, has proven a lot to, to him in his life of what he does and something that he teaches and um, passes on to others. I'm a professional bodybuilder. This is what I fucking do. And uh, I don't give a shit what anybody says. And uh, that's something that you should, uh, you know, cross over into your lives. It doesn't matter what anybody says, what anybody wants you to do, what anybody tells you to do. If you want to go out and fucking get it. I remember one day he had baggy baggy pants on and a baggy shirt and he was stocky and I and I said to him I said why do you wear such baggy clothes I says you have such a good physique and a good body to you I said show your body off and uh, he says looked at me and he goes oh dad you know um, and and I have a picture that I posted a couple times when um, when he was about three and a half, two and a half, three and a half years old, it was a picture when we were camping down in Little Lake Harbor in New Jersey. We used to go camping every summer. And I got a picture of him holding him up, and he's flexing with one arm, and I'm flexing with my other arm, you know? And I always, I always posted it as this was the beginning of his career. I was at the New York show. It was the day after my son's wedding this year. Yes, we were there for that. We were there for last year, so we saw him win back to back, which was really great. It always makes a mother proud. I was with him in Atlanta when he turned pro, um, as was my husband and my daughter. That was a really great moment. And then, of course, I had Dave Palumbo doing to me what you're doing to me right now. And that was a little embarrassing because that was on TV. Thank you. You got seven weeks, what you gonna do? You're tough, right? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Take it! Come on! Come on! I've been to most of the Olympias, I've been to the, you know, some of the Arnolds, the, well, the ones in, the, in, in Ohio. I would be sitting there when I first started to follow the bodybuilding, and I would look and you'd see the judges and I would question Guy all the time. What are they doing this? And he would constantly repeat himself and he would get annoyed. He says, you know, how many times do I have to tell you? And after all of the years of following him through his journey of the bodybuilding from being, you know, from an amateur level up to the professional level, competing at the pro level, and um, you stand there and you, you look and I try to be a judge, not judging my, my son, as a trying to single him out, but I try to see through the eyes of the judges what they're actually looking for, and you know there's a lot of comparison. There's there's a lot of 
everything looks the same to the audience they all look the same and everybody's going to cheer for who they want to win of course uh, and sometimes I think that's the way the judges go sometimes I think they they go towards the way the fans feel you know because it is an individual um, sport it's not a team sport where you win as a team you're this is an individual so you're on stage you're it so it's like the Olympics uh, a lot of times you know you're you're being you're being judged as an individual based on uh, your accomplishments and um, how you present yourself um, and in this case it's how you look and he works really 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 hard at it and I know there's a lot of a lot of uh, competition this year at the level so with that I think um, you know that makes him even work harder at it A lot of people think because you're big and you have muscles and you're strong and you know that you're this really uh, how could I put it you know you don't have the compassion and you don't have the heart and everybody expects you to be all big and rugged and all the time and really when you sit down and talk and I've learned this from talking to a lot of the guys um, that I've met throughout the course of the years following him um, they're all very soft-spoken guys they're all very compassionate um, and they're all just, it just blew me away that I would, but, well, you know, just as far as their tone and their voices, everyone was just very soft-spoken. Very nice guys to sit and have a real conversation with, not like anything anybody would think that they were. So I guess the best way to put it is, you know, don't underestimate what you don't really know. Don't judge the book by its cover because things are always different on the inside. You might get knocked side to side, but as long as you stay on that path, that doesn't fucking matter. You want to keep going straight until you reach your fucking final goal. And that's to be the best version of you that you want to be. So you hold the fucking pen. You write your own story. Don't let anybody or anything come in the way of your fucking dreams and your goals. And if anybody tells you you can't do something along the path of life, you tell them to go fuck themselves.